Hello everybody and welcome to Chase Race number two at Champs Elysees here out in France. And man, oh man, a wild Xfinity race that went around with some pit strategy and all. Now the cup drivers, they will take its turn. So big, big changes are coming also along the way that we'll be talking about next season. But of course, let's get down to your starting lineup and we'll talk a little bit more of it in just a bit with the points. Hey, in this chase race on the pole is James Qualls next to him. Quentin Moore third is Zach Flickinger fourth. Dylan Posey fifth. Audrey Baranowska sixth. Joshua Sokoli seventh. Benjamin Miles eighth. Clint Spillman ninth. Is Jessica Shell clean top 10. Trent Dunham. A bunch of chasers in the top 10. Keep in mind as the rest are starting lineup. You look through the field and look where the drivers are at. Of course, uh, for matching the yellow banners that signifying the Chase for the championship for the NRSL Universal Orlando Cup Series. A lot of them starting towards the front of the field. Drayton now having his full sponsor on there, or uh, full banner, I should say. Seth Cole and Zachary Fitzwater are the final two chasers in the rear of the field. And in the final row, we have Michael Walton and Charles Sanford. So now, we may as well uh, keep with the pace car and uh, the way how it is here. So here are the points coming into this race. Now, Zach Flickinger has the points lead by, as I'm looking here, four points over Trent Dunham. Now, if you noticed, Trent Dunham not too far back. Flickinger, he's going to start third in this race. The worst chaser out of all this, unfortunately, it has been Seth Cole. There were a bunch of drivers there in this rear of the field in points. You got Seth Cole. Phil Parker, Sky Commons, Quentin Moore. They all had bad runs. Even Jessica Shelton, who was the regular season points leader. So definitely hoping to get some redemption. I doubt there will be any wrecks. There will mainly be a lot of pit strategy that will happen in this race. So without further ado, let's go get the command to fire their engines here at Sean Zilze. Drivers, stop! Your engines! As there's the command, 27 laps like it was in the Xfinity race. Just waiting for that pace car to roll on off. And now, the reason why we're doing it like this, because, you know, when they leave here, this is a very bad camera angle. You can't really see a whole lot. And the only way you can really, you know, use it well is uh, the helicopter angles. Oh, someone did not get going. I don't think it was a chaser. Oh, and it's Cat Batson in the 58. Problems for the Adam and Eve Mustang for KAB, and that's just, that's been the story of her season in a nutshell. But James Qualls, Quint Moore, Zach Flickinger, Dylan Pozzi on the front of the first two rows for this race. It's showtime, boys. Green flag is out, and we're underway here at Wheels of Fire. Sean's Lise. Oops, I forgot to close that window there. My apologies. As anyways. Qual so far with a nice lead in that number 70 car. And it's kind of weird. Normally we don't see Qualls as a road course ringer by any means. But, rather, you know, safe to say, Qualls definitely had a really good qualifying effort. And look at this, Pozzi got shoved to the uh, left side of the course by Audrey Baranowskis in the 46. And look at this, Flickinger trying to take the lead from James Qualls heading into the right-hander here. And for, for a minute on the angle, it looked like Qualls had damage, but he does not. And it's just, that was a weird angle there, but... Qualls now going to go in the left-hander. Being in the preferred line is the Castle GTX Chevrolet. He's going to clear Flickinger. Oh, well, not yet, but now Qualls is probably going to get it heading off this little bump right here. And Yep, good move by the 70 to get that advantage there. And 
I'll tell you what Flickinger it is his farewell sees, but he's definitely not going to go without a fight. He really wants to win a championship and ride off into the sunset. Now, as many know, William Flickinger will take over next season in the rebranded number, I believe it was the number eight car. Let me uh, double check there. I'm pretty sure it's the eight. Yes, it is the eight car. And William Flickinger also will be a rookie next season as well. In the meantime, while he's preparing, they've been doing some tests. Adam Flickinger has been taking over for the time being, so, of course, Zach, he's just been riding out and doing his thing. So far, Zach trying to get his third win of the year, and that would be a huge thing. He's going to try again for that position, but now he's going to try to quickly tuck back in line, which would rather be the preferred thing to do. Now here comes Quentin Moore in the 34, which is his first chase and only his second season so far is that 34 team. Now Moore, he made it in via by the chase LCQ and definitely did not have a good first chase race. Well, he's definitely redeemed for sure today because out of all the races you want to qualify well in is the road course races. And he has definitely done that for sure. Qualified on the outside pole. And here he is in the a and Root Beer Ford trying to have a good run and trying to go out and see what he could do. Poti hanging on for fourth, no problem. And our first non-chaser battle, it's Audra Baranowskis in the 46 and Benjamin Miles in the 43. And good to see Audra up here finally. She has not had a good season in that 46. Now, full frontal motorsports is going to be taken over next season. They will not be in Toyotas. They're going to be in Chevys. Kind of wondering what's going to happen with the 46 as a whole. Hopefully it turns around because this has been a disaster of a rookie season for the 46 team. And a battle for second. That's Quint Moore. And he is actually going to take the spot from Flickinger. But Flickinger just got back on the inside line. And look at all Ray getting the full head of steam on that, on that root, beer Mustang, or root, beer, root beer fusion there. I almost said Mustang right there. That's not good because he is not in a Mustang. And Flickinger trying to clear and will do so. But anyway, it's good to see Audra finally having a good run for once. Looking through here, Daniel Olsen right now in that 10th position. But Jessica Shelton wants that position. And you can see she's on the right side. That's the preferred area you want to be in because a lot of this course, it is a right-hander's course. But you see Olsen got a good run on the left side right there. And you see Sheldon's going to tuck back in line. She tried to get back in line before Dunham could make a move right there. And that's a smart thing you want to do because you know if you cannot make a move, you want to get back in line or you're going to lose it. But Dunham kind of looking and thinks better. Gonna wait for that opportunity, and at times you gotta hope that other car in front of you makes a slip up right here. Because this right hander is very tough. You see, look at Sheldon and Dunham. Man, they just checked up on one another, and that's a bad move right there. And Dunham, oh, he's definitely in a very bad spot because not that he's gonna try to take out Sheldon, but the fact that, well, not a lot of passes. Oh, there's contact. I don't know who that was, but I, I think you guys may have heard that too. Someone made some contact here. There's Zachary Fitzwater right now, 19th. Not a bad run, despite where some of the chasers are, but hanging around in that Miller Lake Dodge. A couple spots behind. Skycom is in the 17, running 24th right now in that switch Dodge. Now, funny thing I realized when looking at Sky Comets and looking back at the record books and all. Now, when the only season he made the chase, that was season three. He won the championship that season. He had no wins. And guess what? This season he made the chase, he's got no wins. So it's kind of crazy how he's actually in this situation like he was a couple seasons ago. Both the Auto Trader cars. Michael Walton, JT Bryant. Now, next season, SKM is going to have the two, and they'll be having Mercedes on board. So, 
two will be in its last season with Ford all together. A legacy that was there and made and will be going away later on and at the end of the season we'll be going over to Mercedes. And wow, I, I was trying to pay attention there. Roush almost running into Scott Commons there. Ooh, Matthews went into the dirt. He's going to hold up McIntyre and Anderson trying to hold on there. Oh, McIntyre messed up right there. That was the wrong place you want to be. He went on that side a little too early. And he's going to pay the price. He lost two spots because of that. Or did he? Look at that. Three wide for position. Still three wide right there. As James Qualls, you were seeing, is still the leader. Which we'll talk about what will happen with Green Flag. Pet stops at all. Whoa. Look at him go. Still three, three wide for position, which that's crazy enough to do. Look at Hudson in that uh, Overwatch Toyota right there. And McIntyre looks like he's going to get those spots back. And that's a battle for, not for a chase by right there. But you see Alex Drayton in that 14 Home Depot Ford. Who did not have a good run, at least for the most part, over at Orlando. And here he is at Sean Lizay trying to get a good run. Now remember, he's... His two wins that he had this season, he won at Auto Club, the second race of the year. Then he won at Talladega, which was race number 12. Whoa, Hudson gave a little bump to Ferranti right there. And Drain's going to get back the position off Brett Pritchard right there, especially because he slipped off the corner right there. And don't look back, Alex. you got another chaser in mind of Phil Parker in the 15. In that Dark Matter Toyota. Now, when Parker made the chase, of course, because he had multiple schemes, they were asked a question, what scheme would he be running for the entirety of the chase? Because it's only going to be one scheme. They had to think really tough, and wow, he, for a minute, I thought he got, got turned by Brett Pritchard, but they said they end up going with Dark Matter. He said that no, he's been having good runs with that 15 car, and it seemed reasonable enough, so why not? Right now, 37, not a good run for him. Drayton to 36. They are the... Oh, Charles Sanford kept sheer with damage. And Seth Cole on down pit road. I don't see any damage, but... That's a rather odd scenario for the 33 team. That's two chase races where they're just having issues. Trying to see with Seth here. Doesn't look like he has damage. I think he had to come down pit road for something. Either that he broke down or must have blown an engine, something. Now if you notice with Charles Sanford and Kev Shearer, they have some damage and they are a little bit off the pace. See Sanford's got some right side damage and Kev has a little bit of left side damage. Tough break for both of those drivers. Definitely not what they needed. Battle for chase position here. That's Anthony McCurry and Sky Commons here. We're going to keep an eye on this for right now. And um, I will want to point out too is that, you know, with all these chase points and all, every point's going to matter a lot. But these guys right now, they're not in the top, but, you know, they're around mid-pack in the chase, but still, you can tell Commons really wants to get a win and really prove himself. Because technically, this is the first chase he's made since winning that championship, so he never really defended his crown until technically this season. So right now, the run could be better, but they, whatever they do on this pit stop here, which I do want to mentioned before I forget it is lap 14 that we are expecting this green flag pit stop to happen as Shelton is now slipped into the top 10 somebody must have fallen back a spot or two I don't know who it was though but they lost the top 10 well it has still been all James Qualls in the 70 he has enjoyed his Sunday drive out here in Sean's Lizay 
Flickinger's been having a couple of opportunities, but right now he's starting to close in that 70. So let's go on board a lap at the 70 for those who are brand new and give you a lap around Sean Zilizé. You may as well put this on here so you can see with Qualls' view here how fast he's going to the corners. Now he's still going around in the 50s. Now he's hitting the gas right over here. As for mentioned in the Xfinity race, it is like an elevated Dubai, elevated Dubai excuse me. Now see a lot of elevation change, difference of the banking, that's all right here. Still going about 100 miles an hour right here. Now he's starting to pick up the speed right over here. And he's really hitting that gas right over here. This is where you get a lot of your speed coming on this course. See now he's starting to really get that gas, 168, 170, 176, 180. And then he's slowed down a bit. Going into this big hairpin right-hander here. Then he can hit the gas again right over here. Go about at least 150. Before into the small right-hander and then eventually into this big right-hander. This is a very sharp corner right here. And sometimes you can make your move right here. But really, it is a very tough place to pass. And that is one lap around Sean Zilizé with James Qualls. I'll tell you though. It is a rather unique course. It is basically like a banked Dubai. I'll tell you what, all the people on this list, people got to hope who, who makes a mistake on pit road has to be the points leader who's running second right now. But if your name is Zach Flickinger, that's what you want to do to battle for that championship. Now, I believe also, too, my memory serves me correctly, and yes, it does. When Poti won the championship, this was actually his uh, chase race that he won. This one right here, and I think he also won it was Kansas. Kansas or Big Street, one of the two, but regardless, though. Poti trying to do what he can to prove himself out there. Seth Cole still on pit road. I think he must have had a problem or something. And Kev Shear has gotten around Charles Sanfer. I believe that 0-3 is the one off the pace. He must have hit the tires for whatever reason. And now Kev is trying to get around Johnny Gardner in the 12, who's just a little back from Joshua Osborne for position. Battle for second, possibly ensuing Flickinger and uh, Quentin Moore there. Dylan Palti, Poti all over the back bumper and Moore trying to fight on that left side, but now this is where the right-hander starts to come. That's good news for Poti because he's right within them. And Poti going to take advantage of it. He said one of you two is either going to lose the spot and he is going to make a move on Quentin Moore in the 34s. Flickinger... Holds on to second. Now Poti battling for third. On Quentin Moore. And I think this is where Poti's going to get that advantage right over here off this corner. Oh, he definitely did because Moore slipped the course right there. And Poti will get third. Actually, Moore on that real high line is he coming up at road? No, but Poti it is. Same with James Qualls. Lap 12, they're coming in couple laps early rather we've had testing to where it's shown that lap 14 was the the magic number that they be coming down pit road and i've seen jessica shelton coming on down try to see any other chasers that are coming down at least levi mcintyre in the 99 i see anthony mccurry also down And Seth Cole still on pit road.
Let's see if Qualls will be the leader after this cycle of pit stops. I think it's safe to say he's going to. Pote finished quicker than Qualls, but Qualls obviously edged him out, beat him out. And Qualls wisely taking them turns with no problem. Now we will see wave two coming on in. Flickinger, by the way, did lead that lap. More in second. Let's see, is Flickinger making the indication of coming on down? Yes, indeed, the case. It's like they say that million dollar question, will the rest of the leaders come on down pit road? Or better yet, who's going to stay out? Oh, one car staying out. That's Kate Anderson in the three. She is the only driver staying out. Gutsy move you are seeing in the background. That is James Qualls in the 70. Fitzwater already out in the way. He must have went with two tires on that 59 because he is going. Hey, he's going to gain a lot of his spots right here. Zach Flickinger will lead him down. Oh, and a prom for Quint Moore in the 34. Now he gets out. And under fire is a chase position right there. That's Trent Dunham in the one. And will take advantage. But the one you got to give credit the most is Zachary Fitzwater in the 59. Boy, that is a gamble right there. But if it pays out, then I got to say, whoever made that call, that was worth it. Wow, three wide exiting pit road right there. Yikes. That was Finn Guy in that advanced auto parts Ford. Clint Spillman that John Deere Chevrolet and Levi McIntyre the 99. Qualls, though, got ahead of Pozzi, who was second, literally right behind him. And they easily beat out Flickinger and Audra Baranowskis. And a slow pit stop for Quentin Moore. Under fire from John Art, Scott Roush, and look at three wide for position. That's a chase spot. That's Zachary Fitzwater. Well, whatever they did in that 34, it is not going up to speed. And the last car on pit road is down, I think. Yes, indeed the case. Which that was Kate Anderson. Anderson may make it on gas if she could save from this point on. Baranowski's got around flicking your remember, That's Baranowski's uh, up to third. How about Gardner Racing? Despite what happened with Moore, they at least got a car in that top 10. Cody right now in that pivotal 10th position. Sheldon in 11th, 12th is Dunham. Fitzwater 15th, Moore 16th, and McCurry 17th. 20th is Levi McIntyre. 26th is Sky Commons. Thirty second, Alex Drain. Thirty third, Phil Parker. That is it, Seth Cole, of course, in 41st. Cat Batson already out of the race. Look at Dylan Pozzi trying to take a spot. Can't seem to do it. Now, if they keep battling, that will allow Audra Baranowskis to catch up to that 70 and the 31. And, ooh, wow, that was close right there between Qualls and Pozzi. Remember, they're good friends, and they're not too far away from each other in the state of Kentucky there. The Battle of the Kentuckians, how about that? James Qualls in that 70 Castle GTX. Chevrolet for Johanna Atwood Motorsports versus Dylan Pote in the Caterpillar Chevrolet for Twinix Racing. Both the captains are rocking enough for those respective teams. And Sheldon has now jumped into the top 10 because of the three cars uh, pit stops, I believe, that happened. Indeed the case. 
Well, Moore wants that spot back from McCurry, you're seeing. And will get it with no problem. That 34 is upset with what happened. They were looking for a good run. They messed up bad. And battle for the lead yet again. Poti trying to take the lead from Qualls. And the worst part now is Qualls is definitely going to be on the preferred line. Going to tuck back in line. Poti going to try again on the left side. Poti is very hungry for that victory. Remember, two seasons ago, he won this exact race. This is all still behind Baranowskis, who's starting to lose that main pack little by little. Daniel Olsen right now in the fifth position. Who's a winner over at Ireland. So he knows how to handle the road courses pretty decently. And we are nearing 10 laps to go. By the way, we cross the line. Flickinger now trying to hold on for a position from Eric Burton in that 20. Check up with the leaders again. Man, I'll tell you what, whatever they did to that 31 car, they gave it some extra oomph. Just trying to get around that 70, and the 70's playing some good defense right now. Qual so far, safe to say, is having the best run of his career in that 70 car. This, he's only had two wins in his career. His first came all the way back in Season 2 over at Phoenix, or Tweenix, as they called it. And then just this season at Daytona, he broke that winless streak, winning the 400. Now here he is at Sean's Lazé trying to win his third career race in the second of the year. And that would be a major, major win for that 70 team if that is the case. Think back to the last couple seasons of how the drivers were in the chase. Like you had James Qualls in the 70, making it in, no surprise. Joshua Osborne made it in last season with James Qualls, with the three wins and all. This season, Osborne's not in the chase. James Qualls got to win and is in the chase. The funny thing, too, with Qualls is that within the last four seasons, he has made the chase, and it's shown with great stride. Oh, and Poti really messed up that corner right there, and that's really going to hurt him right there. And Seth's still on pit road, and it's safe to say he is going to end up dead last out of all the chasers. That is a tough break for that 33 team, and I noticed the 84 slipped quite a way back there. Flickinger trying to hunt back the 54 car there, but don't look back. Jessica Shelton's been reeling her way up to Eric Burton in that 20 car, little by little. And don't forget, too, we may encounter our what could be our second and final stop if these drivers can't hang on. Balls, I guarantee, regardless of whatever happens, he just wants a win as Poteet is coming down on lap 19 of 27. Very surprising move. And also, Andre Baranowskis, Benjamin Miles, Daniel Olson, Cody Lamas, Anthony McCurry, Zach Rogers, Levi McIntyre, Jeffrey Finguy, also down. Oh, wow, Scott Roush is all the way in the rear. Same for Johnny Gardner. Charles Sanford, of course, is off the pace. So now Qualls still continuing his Sunday drive. 
kind of surprised why they came down pit road this early and not later on. And I still don't know why Garner and Roush went down pit road. McCurry trying to get around Baranowski and will do so. Cody, Daniel Olsen, Benjamin Miles beat out Dylan Pote. Pote with a slow pit stop in that 31 car. I guarantee you that 31 is probably not happy right now after that pit stop. And that is what's key on this race. You gotta have a good pit stop in order to win this race. Qual still with a commanding lead over Joshua Sicoli. Zach Flickinger has now jumped a third. Sheldon still hanging around in that fifth position. Sixth is Dunham. Seventh is Fitzwater. Eighth is Mo or uh or I'm sorry, uh sixth was Dunham, seventh was John Art. 8th was Fitzwater, ninth was Moore. How about Connor Meyer in the 10th position? And both the Bishop Family Racing cars just behind him in 11th and 12th with RJ in the 98. And your previous race winner, Ron Bishop in the 88 in the 12th position. Forgot to mention that too. Well, I'm amazed though. Whatever they did for the 43 and 21, they must have went for a really quick strategy. And as far as what happened with Cody and Pozzi, I'm not too sure what happened to the 31, but they just choked away a pit stop there. That's the third driver we've seen that's had a lot of trouble with pit stops, and especially this is the second chaser with issues. And McCurry, for some odd reason, a road course ringer and all, tried to go on the left side of the course rather than the right side. That's road course... How not to do it 101. Battle for chase position here. Flickinger and Jessica Shelton. And look at Flickinger's got some right side damage in that 96. Even though he's going to hold on, Sicoli still hanging on in that second position. They're kind of hoping that 70 runs out of gas. But you got to remember, too, that three car of Kate Anderson. There she is. Remember, she was the last car to come down pit road. She been on lap 24, or I'm sorry, lap, lap 14 of 27. She is hoping everybody else will come down pit road. And she's going to try to get around Sky Commons for position. Remember, that's not a chase spot right there, but still, though, A lot is that key here. And Qual's going to come down on lap 22 of 27. Sicoli going to stay out. Je Eric Burton. Jessica Shelton's coming down. Zach Flickinger, Trent Dunham staying out. Fitzwater staying out. Moore staying out. Anderson going to get around Commons. Ever Ross is coming out pit road. Alex Drayton staying out. Same with Phil Parker. So now the leader will be Joshua Sicoli. RJ Bishop has now jumped into the top 10 because of that. And Qualls already out and away. Jessica Shelton the same. Qualls easily leading them off pit road. Safe to say he has had the dominant car today. And Pozzi is losing ground on Cody Lamas and has to deal with Anthony McCurry right now. In the meantime, back up to the front. Sicoli and Burton are going to stay out. John Art's coming down in the 0 5. Remember the car up in front? That's for Meyer Racing. Joshua Sicoli, he's going to be downgraded back to Xfinity next season. 
for full, full frontal motorsports there. They're originally known as Will, William Brock Motorsports for this season, but next season it's going to be a different look. Oh, and Anderson kind of slipped the corner right there, and that allowed Sky Commons just to take advantage of that right there. Or at least try to. And not completing the pass. Anderson on the right side now trying to retake that position that was in the battle. And Anderson will hold on. Next time by will be three laps to go. Top chaser is Zach Flickinger in the 96. I think there may be an indication. I'm not too sure. With Flickinger, Dunham, one of the two. Oh, nope, never mind. They're going to stay out for now. No one else is coming down. If your name is James Qualls, you got to hope if you're going to win this race, these cars come down. Wow, look at Anderson flying through the pack. Catching up to Keith Batson and Michael Walton there. Good move by the three and the 17 of the Commons. Yeah, because if you're Qualls here, I'll just keep doing what you're doing right there. Zach Flickinger trying to put some pressure on Eric Burton. Right now, currently second right now. These drivers may risk it on staying out. And remember, these drivers came down even before lap 14. This is a risky move if they do it. They, there are some drivers that came down on lap 11, lap 12, and even lap 13. Lap 14, though, was Kate Anderson. So it's safe to say at least one car we know will make it. That's the three car, but... The rest of the field is definitely in question. Dunham now valid Flickinger for position. And Flickinger coming down. Sicoli's coming down. Dunham staying out. Eric Burton now out in front. Fitzwater up to third. Moore up to fourth. And a whole bunch of other cars coming down. Anderson will stay out. Comets also down. Alex Drayton staying out. Phil Parker's down. Whole bunch of cars coming down. That's good news if you're James Qualls there, but not everyone went down, though. That is still positions if you are that 70 car. It's like 16 cars right there. We'll see where the 70 was when we crossed the line. There's like 18 cars that were in front of him there, and Look at that, Qualls with no problem getting around Sicoli. So with two laps to go. Look at this though, Dunham battling Eric Byrne for the position. For the lead right here. This is coming to the white flag here. Dunham with the preferred line. Is anyone though going to come down Pitt Road from the rest of this field? The leaders are going to stay out and risk it. Top four are going to do that. Anderson, we already know she's good to go on gas, but these guys are going to want to take a gamble. The only chasers that are not down pit road is the white flag is out. They include Dunham, Alex Strayton, Zachary Fitzwater, and Quentin Moore. And look at this. Bird will hold on for now. Dunham trying to do what he can to get up to Eric Burden to get those two extra chase points right there. Regardless, though, those three drivers really going to get a good advantage right here. Dunham was only four back from the points leader. That was second in points right there. Fitzwater 
was not too far behind as well. And Quentin Moore probably going to be the biggest luck with, lucky straw of them all. But right now, Eric Bird in that 20 car in his little send-off season right now. He's not going to come down pit road. But Dunham is, though. Fitzwater. Moore going to stay out. Oh, my goodness. Dunham not going to make it. But Eric Burton coming to the line is going to be victorious. He wins at Sean's Lise. Oh, my goodness gracious. I do not believe it. Dunham will cross the line still in fifth. What a lucky prey for that one car. Because at least the stall was right there. But James Qualls will come away in the 12th position. Still a great run for that 70 team. The only thing that really changed was two chase spots right there. And Spillman jumping up to fourth. But Alex Drain also going to get lucky right there. Qualls only lost to four chasers right there. Which was Drayton. Dunham, Moore, and Fitzwater, so still going to have some good run there, but man, Dunham really could have been a, had a big points lead right there, but came down pit road, gave up second to Fitzwater and Moore, and now these drivers are out of gas, with the exception of Kate Anderson. You can hear it sputter, and you can tell they are not going to make it throughout the rest of the way. Maybe they may. Who knows? So I think it's safe to say, though, Trent Dunham, he will probably be the points leader all in all. But Eric Burton going to pick up his second win of the year after winning at April. How about that? He won at Sean's Lise at April. Two tracks that definitely spell random out of all necessary there. And some cars just trying to limp on into pit road. And some are getting lucky and some not so much. I'm actually amazed, too. We didn't have to deal with any lap cars, too. I thought we were gonna. You can see, like, drivers like Moore and all that just struggling to get in. But there you see it. Eric Burton victorious. Here is the rest of your results. Find chasers that were also in that field. Dylan Potsy after pit stops, he came away 16th. Anthony McCurry, 18th. Jessica Sheldon, 20th. Levi McIntyre, 27th in that 99 car. Uh, looking through here. Sky Commons, 32nd. Phil Parker, 33rd. Zach Flickinger, that's going to be the big blow right there. Going to finish dead last out of all the chasers. I don't know if he had to come back down pit road or he just had a disaster stop it. He'll come away dead, or actually second to last. Seth Cole will end up getting only one point after all that. That is a huge blow. So yeah, definitely for sure, we will have a new points leader without a doubt. And that will definitely be Trent Dunham with for sure, for sure. Actually, let me see real quick. Oh, actually, I think we may have a tie between Fitzwater and Dunham for that points lead there. Because Fitzwater was two points behind Trent Dunham before the start of that race. So that is going to be interesting and in what's going to happen there. So until then... You'll see the points at the end, like always. Thank you guys for watching. If you, if you liked, be sure to give it a like, comment your thoughts, subscribe, part the inner cell button, hit the subscribe button down below. We'll see you guys later for chase race number three, which will be over at... I think I know where it is, but I just want to be sure... Pocono, that's right, because we will have the Wawa versus Sheets 400, and that is going to be a fun race to watch. Till then, this is your boy DeYoung signing off. We'll see you guys later. You're going for France. Until then, see you guys later.